two, engine, engine start, one, zero, and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Kepler on a search for planets in some way like our own. Vernier engine chamber pressures are building. Groundlet solid motors are building in chamber pressure. Zero, three, Burning out of the solids. Four, nine, and for four, separation. Five, seven, decimal, four, six, five. Today we're announcing the discovery of an exoplanet uh, that as far as we can tell, is a pretty good close cousin uh, to the Earth and our Sun. Um, this is about the closest so far, and I really emphasize the so far because the Kepler data set is very rich and the team and the science community has full access to be able to, to extract you know, future discoveries uh, out of the data set. But today we're announcing the closest tw twin, so to speak, to Earth two, or the Earth 2.0 that we found so far in the data set. Now this illustration draws upon the facts that we do know about this planet and its star. The star is the same surface temperature and type as the sun, a G2 star. The star is 10% bigger and 20% brighter than our sun as it's somewhat older. And this planet orbits its star every 385 days and is just 5% farther from its star than the Earth. It would likely have a mass about five times that of Earth and a surface gravity about twice that of Earth. So you and I would weigh twice as much as we do now, but only until we walked around for a few weeks and lost some serious pounds. We'd also expect the atmosphere to be thicker and have more cloud cover, and this planet would likely still have very active volcanoes. Today, the Earth is a little less lonely because there's a new kid on the block who moved in just right next door in terms of the surface temperature of the star it orbits and the energy it receives from its star.